Right now, the future and success of our students is more crucial than ever before. Many of our students look at area schools and, and wish they had facilities like uh, our neighboring school districts. This is an opportunity for us to level the playing field, to give us uh, a leg up in, in some manners, to help uh, make them achieve their goals that uh, they're looking forward to and working hard for each and every day. With items that need to be addressed like outdated classrooms, thoroughly used facilities, and safety measures that need to be implemented, South County is looking towards the next generation in investing in their futures. So our current space is a cozy space. I would call it a cozy space. Um, it's been well loved over the years. The spaces aren't new and we need to vastly upgrade things and get things into the 21st century with technology and and things that our kids are gonna to need to be able to, to have skills with in order to have success. Safety is definitely a big part of it. Um, our eyewash station is located at the front of the room and is a bottle versus the ones that are actually running water ones where you can rinse the eyes if something should happen. The locker rooms definitely need to be done. The pit, it, it's tough to practice up there and the girls don't wanna go in the locker room and change just because it's not the best facility. Our windows here, some of them don't open. So the ones that do don't necessarily promote the airflow we would need, so we have to use an uh, older air conditioning unit. I can't teach and the students can't learn with air conditioning units on, so those definitely have to be turned off um, and this space heats up very fast. For phys ed classes, it's, it's okay, except for the leaks that we have and having to maneuver around safety issues. We also are only able to really accommodate one class at a time in this library. And when you're talking about a school community of over 400 students, that's really limiting for our classroom teachers. We have classrooms that haven't been touched since the 1970s. Uh, so we have uh, over 30 classrooms designed for renovations, from our uh, classrooms to our uh, locker rooms to our athletic fields so are all in need of upgrades. Uh, we're looking forward to enhancing our uh, educational spaces for our students at the elementary levels, a uh, new library at Veter, uh, classroom renovations at our elementary buildings. Uh, but we need modern facilities. Our students deserve it. Uh, they're working hard. Uh, this is just an outstanding opportunity for South County to move forward in our next generation planning. It kind of does come down to do we feel the respect for our job and do the kids feel the respect for their learning that they deserve. It was definitely tough these last two years where you're not even practicing there and then you're also playing games elsewhere so you're losing practice time and then you're also going elsewhere and you're really not at your home site. I think the students would feel valued and that they would take ownership of everything that is going on here. Um, I think it's important for them to feel like when they walk into a space that it is updated with everything that's going on and not feel like they walked into a building that was built in the 70s and nobody cares about us versus walking and being like, this is my school and this is what's happening here, feeling prevalent and relevant. We are an awesome district, we have awesome families, and I just hope that we can invest in the future of our workforce and our kids.